Hey there and welcome back to the channel. My name is Janosz and today I want to introduce you to Loom, which is a powerful video communication tool that you can use to get your message across faster, to communicate with your coworkers and also, you know, to create really powerful uh, videos really, really fast. In essence, Loom allows you to create tiny videos um, that you can use to explain concepts to your colleagues um, instead of, uh, you know, uh, writing huge email threads and going back and forth. You can actually um, communicate with them in a way that is like you standing next to them at their desk even though you're basically working remote um, or not at the same place uh, at the moment and this is really powerful for the future of work and um, yeah for the future of work communication to get started with loom you will uh, have to create a loom account which you can do on the loom website uh, i'm already logged in but so you can see it right here but um, you can do that on the website and then you'll also want to install the chrome extension that loom provides uh, because this will allow you to uh, basically record the videos uh, right inside of your browser. There's also a desktop version if you want that, but I recommend using the browser version because it's just easier and uh, even uh, quicker than using the desktop version. One thing to note here is that if you're using Firefox or Safari, then you will have to get the desktop version because it's currently only available for Chrome, so keep that in mind. Um, but yeah, just install it and then we're good to go. Now I'm going to go back into my Loom account because uh, you know why not and here we can actually you know like start the recording process. Now in order to record a new video you can just click on this little uh, like Chrome uh, Loom icon up here and this will start the recording process basically. So now you'll see this window on this side here and also you know my camera my, my, my webcam uh, down here so this is a, a bit less of a quality camera. Um, but what's really important is what's on this side right here. This is the, the interface that you can use um, to record the videos. Now the first option you have, which is obviously really important, is if you want to have a screen and camera, uh, screen only or camera only. So if I go to screen, you'll see my video this disappears down here and I'll just have this uh, photo at the bottom. Um, uh, same thing for camera only, um, then we'll also only have the camera and uh, you know the rest of my screen will not be recorded in this, in this case. Uh, but let's go back to screen and camera and let's go through some of the other options you have. The next options are if you want to record the full desktop or if you want to record only the current tab. Um, so, you know, this is important if you only want to share a certain part of the screen, maybe if there's some confidential data uh, somewhere which you don't want to share, um, then you can choose that here. Um, then obviously, um, as for any recording tool, we can choose our microphone, or we can choose our webcam, and I could also mute my microphone this way. So now uh, it's muted and uh, now it's unmuted again. And if I want to choose a different microphone, I could do that here as well. Same for my camera. Um, I only have one camera, so it doesn't really matter. I mean, it doesn't make any sense, but I have the option to do so. Next up, let's go through the, uh, what are called the advanced options, but I don't think they're so advanced. So um, yeah, it uh, doesn't really matter, but uh, let's go through them anyway. So uh, we can flip the camera if I want to, so I could invert the camera, um, but let's leave that off. Um, I could use, if I you know want to do screen only like this, um, I could uh, control whether I want to use this image down here or not. So I could remove it like that. Um, but let's go back to screen and camera. And um, I could control if I want to have this control menu down here while recording. Um, I could, uh, you know, have this countdown which starts before you actually record the video. Uh, so there are all these different options that you have available to you if you want to uh, go through them one by one. But now let's actually focus on what's more important. Let's focus on recording. So if I hit this record button, um, then we'll actually start recording a video um, and um, then we'll go through some of the options we have there. So let's get started and we are going to share the entire screen like this. And now you see uh, that uh, it says uh, Loom for Chrome is sharing your screen. Um, I can hide this um, and you know now I see that I'm actually currently recording. You can see this also by this red recording button up here. Um, so now we're actually doing a recording um, and I can just like, go, go through some of the options we have here. Um, you know there are these different pages. Um, doesn't really matter. It's just for demonstrational purposes. So let's actually um, finish the video by clicking on this button up here. 
And now we see the magic of using Loom, which is um, that we now have access to our recording directly here, uh, right inside of our browser, um, even though we just uh, recorded the video. And we can now do stuff, we can you know edit the video, we can speed it up, we can add a thumbnail, we can do whatever with it. And it was super quick, um, directly in our browser, we can now share and it's, it's just crazy that this works like this way. So um, yeah, let's, let's go through some of the options now. So as you see, if I click on this button, yeah, so you hear that this is my recording. I can um, mute it because that, that doesn't make any sense. But this is what we just went through, um, yeah, right here in the recording. So let's pause and let's see uh, some of the options we have. Now, uh, keep in mind that I'm currently on the Loom Premium plan. Um, I have like a free trial, but you can also uh, have access to some of these tools if you don't use Loom, um, the Loom Premium version. So that's perfectly fine. You don't need a paid plan to do some of this stuff and uh, to record the videos. Now, the first thing we can do is we can review the transcript. So basically, Loom is automatically creating this transcript uh, for our video while we are recording it, which is, again, really, really powerful. And you could use that, you know, if you create a video for, um, like an explainer video for your blog uh, or for your, for your colleagues, and then you could use the transcript to maybe create a blog article out of that as well and stuff like that. So that is really, really powerful in, in many, many ways. Uh, there are some video preferences, you know, we can see if somebody can download the video, uh, if like comments are, enabled stuff like that so that's not really important right now but i just want to show that it's there for you um, and now there are some of the more um, like advanced options as well so for example we could say we want to trim the video so for example you know like edit stuff out like this keep this th this part out and then click on remove and then uh, we could say publish changes and uh, you know now like if i click on the video again um, the video now is a bit shorter because we trimmed off a bit uh, from this video. And, and then there are also other things like call to actions and thumbnails, which are not important for most users, so I won't go into detail. These are like the, the, the most important things for, in my opinion. So uh, the ability to quickly trim your video if you want to, to make quick edits to these uh, super quickly recorded videos. And then the next important thing that we also have is the option to share this video in so many ways. It's uh, it's crazy again. So uh, up here, if I click on the share menu, I can share this by name. If I have someone in my Loom team, uh, I can also share it uh, with a specific email address. I can share it on social, so I can share it to any of these different social platforms. Uh, I can embed it inside of my, you know, uh, inside of my website, and also I can also change like who can actually see this um, if I wanted to. Um, also, I can directly copy this link. And for example, if I now go into my uh, Gmail account um, and just go to, you know, a new email, and let's say I'll just make some space here. I'll just paste this in like that. Paste in the Sloom, uh, the Sloom video. You see how it automatically populates and creates this little thumbnail, um, creates this title, and then also uh, this link to the video itself. So if I want to, you know, record a quick video, send it over to my colleague, then it can be really easily done um, using this method. Uh, you can send it by email and, and and also other things like that. Now, if you're a marketer or a trainer or a teacher or something like that, and for example, you have a website or web page where you want this uh, to appear as well. Uh, this is also quite easy and I want to show you how this works. So I've just quickly created a new page on my WordPress website and here I'm now ready to add this video to my website. For example, if I want to um, use it in a blog article or like create a new page with it. And I still have the, the link copied. So from here, just copied the link. Um, and now I can actually just paste it in here like that. And then the video embeds itself. And now you see we have this nice little recording, uh, like a video player uh, inside of our website uh, where we can, you know, we can use these different options. We can actually speed up the video. Uh, we can play it uh, like this and, um, and we can do pretty much anything else that we would want to do uh, with a video player on our website. So this is uh, the power of Loom in one short video. 
the ability to quickly record videos, uh, to quickly edit them, so to make tiny edits where you need them, and then to really quickly again share the videos with anyone um, that maybe needs to see them. Because this can really change how we communicate in the workspace, going from uh, these huge email or Slack threads um, where you have to go back and forth and nobody really knows what you mean and you know it's not really easy to, to explain to someone um, how you mean something um, or what they have to do, for example, um, to um, set up a certain software. But uh, using this tool, you can just create a quick uh, like five minute video and um, then you have this as an asset that you can share with anybody who has this problem in the future. This makes it much, much easier for you to communicate and uh, therefore I think this is a tool that anybody should check out. All right, that's it already for this video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it and uh, let me know if you want to hear more about uh, like, you know, these different workspace tools like uh, Loom, which is more of a like tiny tool, um, but uh, right now it's pretty pretty known as well and it's, it's growing rapidly. Um, and there are lots of more tools like that that really help you uh, boost your productivity and um, make your work better. So again, if that's interesting to you, let me know and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Take care, bye.